Bear Podcast, 381. Just makes you all fuzzy inside. So was it all lube? What kind of lube? Okay, you're ready. Right but he's got a. But in the picture that he's got on, it looks like he's got a bear. I got to see lots of bears playing. What? Bears. You mean you didn't have your podcast equipment with you? It's actually plants killing zombies. Would it be better to go there and then get sick afterwards? <laughs> Well, I don't know. It depends on what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Me and James have a lot in common. We're both tasty wise. The Matt Bear Prop. Don selling his thong. Okay. Having it auctioned off. I think you got $150 just for his thong. Your question of the week. The second <laughs> question of the week. Oh, we really want instant gratification in the week. Yeah, those bears get around. Everybody knows everybody in this world. Welcome everyone to another edition of Bear Podcast. This is Nard. This is Ray. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yes. Welcome to Bear Podcast, episode three hundred eighty-one. And we are video casting, podcasting. Yeah. Fooling around. <laughs> at the We're north, not fooling at, around at, at the northeast. Uh, recording offices. Yes. Podcast. <laughs> well, let me see. Or better known as Umble. I I got a message today when they saw the the setup we're doing. That uh, are we filming? Are we filming a a porn right now? <laughs> uh, no, we don't. Well, he the, he films porn, but when I record, it's not a it's not porn. So, <laughs> yeah. but then it's that can be arranged. Romance, that can be arranged soon, right? Well, somebody's messaging me. <laughs> okay. Somebody. Get off of Facebook. I'm trying to do a show. Oh my I'm trying God. to do a show and get off Facebook. You're not at work anymore. Get All right, off Facebook. I'm, I'm getting out of Facebook here. Okay. <laughs> so welcome everyone to um to this show and uh, yeah we we've been normal lately in a sense that vacations are over, back to work and everything. Oops. Ooh, hello. And oh, oh, you're friend. So hot. <laughs> I had a pool party last weekend oh, with the Asians and friends. Why, why did I, get invited to pool party? I don't know. You you you're supposed to get the emails. I don't get. I don't ever get notified unless somebody says something to me about Asians and friends. I don't know about it. I thought you're you're a member. Okay. No. All right. Well, I'll let you know, or I'll let you subscribe to the Yahoo group or something. Okay. So uh, just uh, a few weekend updates. Um, uh, what what did you do this weekend, Ray? Um, my flogger was kidnapped this weekend and is being held for ransom by Kyle and John. Flogger as in? As in. <laughs> or like. <laughs> that way, yeah. Is that the uh, the, the the flogger? Yeah, yeah the it, flogger. It's, it's like yeah. a cat of nine tails type. T- uh, yeah, yeah, the tail, like a horse tail, yeah, something like that. that thing in uh, the, the Last Temptation of Christ or that they cut his back all that with. Oh. That without all the cutting stuff on it. So. Okay. So anyway, they're demanding $150 for his return. <laughs> That's an expensive flogger. I know. I can go buy a new one for that, so y'all can keep that one. <laughs> Just buy a new one. $150 for a flogger. Trust me, I'd have a better one. Was that for Spankfest? Um, they went to Spankfest, and I heard it was kind of boring this year, but they're just starting it back up. So. Oh, okay. Spankfest. We I'm were talking about Spankfest last year, right? They didn't have it last year. No, we didn't? No? no. I thought it was a yearly thing. Well, it was, but it kind of died off for a little bit, and they just brought it back. So. Oh, okay. And I didn't go this year because I had Spank enough fest. bars the weekend before. Yeah. I think more than once or twice a month than a bar is way too much for me anymore. So, mm-hmm. um, and then Saturday night I played canasta with the gang with the boys. <laughs> like old ladies, <laughs> like old right. ladies playing canasta. <laughs> and people just get their feelings hurt at canasta, and they just get all wound up when they lose. Oh really? Yes. Oh goodness, I, I do enjoy it. I haven't. I didn't get invited. Oh, I was in a party. That's right. You're you're in a pool party. I was in a pool party that, that you didn't Which invite me party? to. Which pool party is it? Coming up, yeah. Cool parties, Asians. <laughs> yeah. Asians parties. and friends. Actually, it's a uh, members appreciation uh, night. So, I can, There are several members of Asians and friends I'd appreciate. Oh, really? I'm sure you do. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it coming up? Oh, yeah. This bear watch. Hey. It's, oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, well. It's coming up soon, I think. He's yeah. not a chaser. He's not. No, he's not. So last weekend, I got to see uh, a band called Bowling for Soup. Uh, I, you've never heard of them before, right? Yes, I've heard of them. You've heard of them? Uh, one of their songs is 1985. They, you know, I, I saw a pattern what in how they hit, how they make songs. They mention all these stars. They they, they do name dropping in oh. their songs. So probably when you Google their lyrics, it's all you know. Uh, U2 uh, the, uh, and other bands or REM stuff like that so so the next song after 1985 is 1986 1986 no uh, 
There was something else that is in our 1969, which actually is another song, yeah. right? 1969. Uh, they covered a the song. Uh, they have it in one of their albums. So. Yeah, they're pretty, they're a fun band. They chatted up on stage, and the guitar player is a big chub, and the drummer is a bear. So they're really cute. They're really nice, and they're very talented. They're very good. And uh, there were bands before them, but of course, I was there because of uh, Bowling for Soup. There's no new kids on the block, though. No, there are no new kids. And kid, yeah, no, not not kid, not new kids in the club. New kids. So yeah, we, I got there to see that, though. and that's pretty much that's pretty much what we, I I did last uh, Friday night, and just went home because it's, you know, it's it's kind of sad going to concerts alone. I wish I wish Mike was there. Was whenever. Uh, Mike and I always go to you know concerts and stuff. So yeah. you need to find another surrogate husband besides me. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, go to concerts with you. <laughs> yeah, unless you John like Davis concerts. Didn't go with you? No, nobody. Might. I told him what I'm gonna do, but nobody wants to go. Yeah. I even posted it on Facebook. But nobody wants to go. I guess. But that's uh, fine. It's fine. So anyway, let's. Uh, what do we uh, go with our stories now? What of our? Oh, that's right. We have to. Uh, should we go to that story or the for the second one? Should we, let's do the um, the voicemail later. Yeah, let's do the vo- well. Uh, the voicemail will per- follow perfectly. Okay. This, story, so. uh, this is something that uh, uh, here, here put it on. <laughs> well, no, we're gonna play this after we get talking about the story. Oh, okay. All right. Because then, uh, if we play this, people are like, "What are they talking about?" Okay. Are playing this All right. right. Uh, one of the topics that we talked about last week that we're gonna cover today is actually a breakup stories. Breakup stories. Yes. Breakup stories. So. Maybe should I? I guess you should start, or should I start? Because mine is less less uh, uh, spectacular than yours, if I should say, <laughs> more interesting. <laughs> because uh, mine was what's it, well, let, which well, one? Well, what we're talking about is okay. Um, what got this up is I recently broke up with the boyfriend, boy, oh. whatever you want to call him. Uh, well, he quit being a boy a long time ago and turned into a boyfriend. But um, we were talking about it about you know breakup stories some of the things that people do today that that I just think is horrible. I mean, I can, I can see people doing it, and, and it's been done to me now, but I just thought it was horrific that they did this. But um, talk about your breakup stories. And this is what's feeding this. And we're talking about stuff like what led to the I mean, breakup and how they broke up with you and all this kind of stuff and when it happened and what drama kind of surrounded it. But we thought we'd share some stuff with you about breakup stories and get some of your input about some of the worst breakup stories, you know. I would tell one that is um – that is um, me uh, before before my present partner right now, my because only if partner. If y'all broke up, it'd be kind of hard for him to be your partner now. No, I think this is the um, this is it. <laughs> this is it with my partner right now. But anyway, my last breakup was uh, interesting because, uh, well, not so interesting. It became a boring. It was there, it, it it it's a relationship that uh, became very controlling, and I didn't like it. And and uh, it came to a point that it's not the, that. He, I feel I felt like he's not the one for me really, and and he began hating all my friends, and it 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 came to a point even that uh, he would say if we we'll, we're gonna get married and you're gonna leave your friends, you're not gonna see your friends anymore. I mean, was this the one you'd walk the dog so you could call people? Yes, I, okay. It was that bad. I would walk the dog so I could call my, my friends, John and Palima. Hey, hey, how are you guys? I'm walking the dog. So every time. <laughs> Whenever I go, hey, are you? Whenever I called him, hey, you're walking the dog again, aren't you? So that's what, that's what happened. That's um, that's pretty much my my the start, the start of my uh, down, you know, the the degrade the of the uh, relationship. And until 2002, it's um, yeah, it's 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 re- it was it was uh, it was a hard breakup, more for him because I. I I didn't want to go to go back to it anymore. Like you know, when you break up and then they try to get together again, and I said no, I don't think so. It's not it's not gonna work because it's gonna be it's gonna roll over back to what it was you were doing, even though you say you're gonna change and everything. But yeah, it, I just it just didn't work. It just didn't work. Although, although it was an, uh, it, we were on together for four years, but it was there's this hope that you he would change. But he never did. He never See, did. I, I think that's most people when they get in a relationship. They think, and I know women, I'm pretty sure women think mm. this a lot. Put it on a microphone. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, 
I know that I think women think this a lot just from the fact of the conversations that I have at work with with the uh, breeders that they think they're going to marry their the guy that they're in love with and they're going to change him. Mm-hmm. And I think to a certain extent people do change when they go into a relationship. But if there's big glaring things going on there, I doubt they're going to change overnight. No. Nope. And I doubt that they're going to change to a certain extent that the person's going to be happy about it. So. Mm-hmm. So it all becomes then a you know give and take thing. So, mm-hmm. but um, how come your audio is not too loud? So, but anyway, um, you know most of y'all have heard me talk about the boy Terry, whatever. Mm-hmm. Who, he was one of the Wolf of Water Cubs or Chasers a couple of weeks ago, and um, it 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 was almost like a Jerry Springer episode. Okay. When, when this when this happened, I mean, it was very. It was it in like, front of an audience. <laughs> yeah, I felt like it. <laughs> sitting in front but, of an audience. Um, well, I didn't feel like it was in front of an audience, but I felt like it was something that you know I've watched Jerry Springer and the people are fighting and people are killing each other and all this kind of stuff, and it's just like a Jerry Springer episode. But um, it was just odd. Um, and and the rough thing and the breakdown roughly, um, he met some guy online. Oh my god. <laughs> And and th- and I don't know if this is true or not, but he said he, he met him online. He went and spent the night with him, which I objected to. I said, you know, we got an open relationship, and I don't care if you have sex with him, but spending the night, I think that's too much. Um, and we talked about it, and he was like, okay, I won't do it again, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then the next weekend, he went camping with him. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't want you to go camping with this guy. He went and did it anyhow. So when he came back, I'd kind of figured, okay, this is it. I'm gonna, we're going to end this and be done with it. And I, and I went and met him, picked him up. We had a long conversation, talked about it. He told me a bunch of stuff that he had issues with the relationship. I was like, okay. I said, mm-hmm. well, we can work on that. I said, I ain't making any big promises that everything's going to change overnight. But I said, you know, I'm willing to work on it. And, you know, made some concessions. Like, he wanted to close the relationship down, want to do this. And I was like, okay, uh, if that's what you want to do, we'll do it. Um, 